Do you live or considering visiting Southern California? Hello there! Today we will be taking a look at the rides and attractions found at Universal Studios California. Walk, ride, and experience them with us. Stick until the end of the video to see all the exciting parks and rides. As you make your way through Universal City Walk, filled with lots of shopping and dining locations, you will see the recognizable Universal Globe and enter the Universal Arch. Due to its location, the park is broken up into two. The upper park features most of the park's family attractions and shows, while the smaller lower lot focuses on other Universal franchises. You will enter the park into the upper lot. And as you walk down Universal Boulevard, you will come to the Universal Plaza Essential Point, which allows you to explore all the different areas within the upper lot. If you walk clockwise, you will find the Secret Life of Pets of the Leash this opened in April 2021, and is a dark ride where guests are transformed into lost puppies. As you explore the streets of New York, the ride features a fantastic queue line, that has some interactive elements, as well as amazing audio animatronics. Of all the popular characters from the Secret Life of Pets film, opposite this attraction is Despicable Me Minion Mayhem, a motion simulator ride that turns you into a minions. Before heading on to an adventure through many different scenes, you'll exit through a shop, where you will have a wide selection of minions merchandise. Carrying on with the Despicable Me theme, you can visit the outdoor play area of Funland. Head back to Universal Plaza, and you'll see the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which was completed in 2016. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey is a motion-based dark ride. It's themed to the gardens and rooms within Hogwarts. The ride explores many different recognizable scenes from books and films that feature plenty of characters and creatures of screen audio animatronics. Hogsmeade features plenty of shopping and dining locations, where you can buy a wand in Ollivanders, chug on some butter beer in three broomsticks, or try on some robes in Dervish. Housed in Hogwarts Castle is the main attraction. You might recognize this crashed plane scene, from the War of the Worlds, next to the Wizarding World, is the theme park's signature attraction, the Studio Tour. This is a 45 to 60 minute ride that uses tram vehicles to take visitors from the theme park's upper lot to the back lot where actual filming of many shows and movies took place. The tour will take you through many different recognizable film sets, like this set from the Bates Motel from Psycho, Along the way, you will see how some of the effects are used in with the flash flood and earthquake segments. There are also other exciting attractions, including King Kong 363D. You will be taken through a darkened tunnel and see King Kong take on dinosaurs and other creatures from Skull Island and encounter Jaws from Amity Island. If you like the tour so far, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more attractions around San Diego. The final area in the upper lot is the Springfield, the home of the Simpsons. Have a beer in Moe's, grab food in Krusty Burger and see host of characters throughout this amazing land. The star attraction is the Simpsons Ride, a huge simulator that is a cartoon-themed park called Krustyland. The upper lot also features some amazing shows for you to enjoy throughout the day. Near the entrance of the park is the amazing show Water World. This is a live stunt show featuring a variety of spectacular effects and stunts including pyrotechnics, fire and water effects. It has been running since the film's release in 1995 and is a fan favorite so make sure you catch it. 
We now move from the upper lot down to the lower lot. This can be accessed by a series of escalators that offers amazing view of some parts of San Fernando Valley. The first attraction you will come to is Jurassic World The Ride. That was previously Jurassic Park The Ride until the recent Ray theme in 2019. A boat ride where you will be shown different dinosaur exhibits. The ride uses a mixture of high-tech screens and animatronics to showcase the dinosaurs, including the newly added Indominus Rex animatronic. There are some drops and you will get wet on this attraction, so make sure to bring a raincoat or you can just dry off in the nice hot LA sun. Opposite the Jurassic ride is the indoor roller coaster, Revenge of the Mummy ride. Next up is Transformers The Ride 3D. The dark ride will have you team up with Optimus Prime. As you battle against the Decepticons, Megatron and Bumblebee have a meet and greet in an area to the right building throughout the day. The next and final area is the newest in the park, Super Nintendo World that was added this year. You'll enter through a warp pipe and end up in Peach's Castle. Before the big reveal of the amazing park, you'll meet plenty of your favorite Nintendo characters, Bowser's Castle and lots of Easter eggs that will please even the casual Nintendo fans. The attraction in the land is Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge. This is a dark ride that uses R2 to enhance the experience of riding in your very own Mario Kart race. There are also plenty of shopping and dining locations. Throughout this immersive world, due to the popularity of the Super Nintendo world, there are currently two more under construction in Orlando and Singapore. But this is currently the only one open in the American parks for at least the next years. This is one of the many fun and entertaining places to visit near San Diego. For more San Diego living activities or to find put how to invest in real estate and grow roots in San Diego, give us a call at 619-5-4033 for or visit our website rosacarkrealtod.com. The link will be posted in the description below. For more real estate news or tips, please follow us on YouTube or any of our social media channels. This is Rosa Carp with the Carp Realty Group where we help you build wealth through real estate.